Hello. This little video is going to help you understand what reciprocals are and how to find them. Well, the reciprocal of a number is simply the number which when you multiply, so if I multiply two thirds by something, so two thirds multiplied by something, that being the reciprocal, the answer is one. Now, if you've watched the video on multiplying fractions, you'll know that I want to multiply something, so two times something over three times something equals one. Well, that means the top and the bottom have to be the same. I'm just going to invert, you met that word when we did dividing fractions, I'm going to invert or flip it upside down. So three over two. And that's because two times three is six, three times two is six, and six divided by six is one. So two thirds and its reciprocal, three over two, I multiply them together, the answer is one. Here's another one. I have four fifths and I want the reciprocal. I know I'm going to multiply four fifths by something and the answer is going to be one. So four fifths times its reciprocal, well, I'm just going to flip, invert the fraction. So it becomes five over four. And that's because four times five is 20, five times four is 20, 20 divided by 20 is one. And also when there's a time sign, remember we can cancel down. Four times four, they become one, and five divided by five is one. And everything one times one over one times one is one. Well, that's great. So here's just a quick one. Do it in your head before I write down the answer. But the fraction seven tenths, what's the reciprocal? So the reciprocal is 10 over seven. Hopefully you said that or saw that or wrote it down. Here's another one for you to do just very quickly. What's the reciprocal of three? Oh, okay. Well, very good strategy, which helps an awful lot is to imagine that three is actually three over one because that would give you three. Flip that upside down and it's a third. And if you think about it, three times a third equals one. Three lots of a third is one. So the reciprocal of a third is three. The reciprocal of three is a third. What's the reciprocal of nine? Do it in your head or write it down. And hopefully you know that the reciprocal will be one over nine, which is great. Hope you've got a pen and paper handy because you're going to be having a go at some yourself. Well, that's all right, but what about if I had the dreaded mixed number? What if I want the reciprocal of two and a third? Um, golden rule, see a fraction, it's a mixed number, turn it into an improper fraction. Watch the video on changing a mixed number into an improper fraction and you'll understand where two threes are six plus one is seven thirds. So two and one third is seven thirds, same value, different appearance, but I want the reciprocal, so I've just got to turn that upside down. So the reciprocal is three sevenths. So if you're given a mixed number, turn it into an improper fraction, then turn the fraction upside down. Here's one for you to have a go at. What's the reciprocal of four and four fifths? Four fives are 20, plus four is 24 over five. So that's what four and four fifths is. But I want the reciprocal. So the reciprocal is five over 24. And if you think about it, if I multiply the number by its reciprocal, the answer has to be one. 24 divided by 24 is one. Five divided by five is one. One times one is one. So that's the reciprocal. And lastly, what about if we have something horrible, like a negative number? Mm, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at minus two thirds, negative two thirds. I want the reciprocal. Well, remember the number multiplied by its reciprocal has to equal one. 
If you know anything about multiplying negatives, a minus times a minus will be a positive, and that one has to be positive. So the reciprocal of negative two thirds has also got to be negative. And then I just turn it upside down. And there we go. So what's negative two thirds times negative three halves? Well, minus two times minus three is six because a minus times a minus is a plus, two threes are six, three twos are six, six divided by six is one. So the reciprocal of a negative number will always be a negative as well. Have a go at this one in your head. Have a go at this one. What's the reciprocal of negative four fifths? Hopefully, you know it's got to be a negative. So it's going to be negative and flip it, invert it, five quarters. So I think you should have a go at some. I'm just going to put a few up. Um, find the reciprocals of each of these numbers. So um, press pause and have a go at these six little questions. Okay, hopefully you got some of them, at least some of them correct. And the reciprocal of a third, you may have left it as three over one. But remember, three over one means three divided by one. So actually the answer is three. Well done if you got that right. Well done if you put three over one, but just look out for little things like that. The reciprocal, of, sorry, the reciprocal of three quarters is actually easy. We just flip, invert that fraction, and it's four over three. Oh, bit nastier, so I'm going to change it into an improper fraction first of all. Three sevens are 21. 21 plus four is 25 over seven. That's the actual number that we want to find the reciprocal of. And I've got to flip that. I've got to invert it. So the reciprocal is seven over 25. There we go. D, negative four. Well, pretend that it's just four. So the reciprocal is a quarter. But remember, negative four times a quarter would actually give you negative one. The reciprocal has to have an answer of plus one, so it's going to be negative a quarter. The reciprocal of six, in your head, pretend that's six over one. Six over one, so flipping it over, the reciprocal is one over six. And finally, well, negative 2.5, bit of a rogue one here, but think of that as negative two and a half because that's what 0.5 is, it's a half. Um, I'm going to change that into an improper fraction. Two twos of four add one is negative five over two. So really that's what negative two and a half is, it's minus five over two. And I want to invert that, which will be two over five, but that times that would give me minus one, negative one. So that has to be negative as well. The reciprocal of a negative is a negative. The reciprocal of a fraction is just that fraction turned upside down. And there we are. I really hope that helped. Thank you and bye bye.